Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Welcome to your daily XRP updates. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all having a great start of the weekend so far. And uh, in this video, we'll just uh, briefly talk about XRP. Um, there's not that much we need to talk about, but it's always good to do a little bit of an update. Um, I will, by the way, keep doing these updates. And if you're new to the channel, I, um, I update XRP practically daily. I will probably not make an update tomorrow because the weekend is usually not that volatile. So, so the price will probably be in the same range as it is today, uh, which basically means that if I would make a video tomorrow, I just publish the same video twice, which is a bit lazy. Um, so we'll do an analysis right now, what to expect from this weekend and just in general, the market structure for XRP. Um, and then I'll see you all again on Monday and we'll kind of see what the beginning of the week uh, is going to do. Uh, but yeah, we'll focus on the technicals. We'll talk about some fundamentals. I, I thought about talking about the effects of SEC, um, the SEC potentially losing this case and Grayscale becoming a Bitcoin ETF because I mean XRP does react a little bit to ETF to SEC news, uh, but I don't think the reaction is is good enough. I mean yesterday you can see that just because of the correlation with Bitcoin XRP spiked up a bit, uh, but on its own it wasn't even that bullish. So I wanted to talk about that. We won't. We'll focus on the technicals. Uh, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, Let's dive right into it. If we take a look at XRP right now, you can also see that the correlation to Bitcoin and Ethereum is super high. Like the highest it's been perhaps this month. Um, is it? It's not really showing the, the latest data. Yeah, all right, all right. This is the 30 day correlation. But over the last seven days, it's super high right now. Uh, so it's practically following Bitcoin and Ethereum. And what usually happens in the weekend is that the price barely moves. All right, so XRP right now is in this area between 49 cents and then 48 cents. I expect it to stay consolidated in that area. Perhaps we'll get some so, so, somewhat of a spike up. Perhaps we'll get somewhat of a spike down. But overall, I think this is the situation for this weekend. Now, if we zoom out a bit, you can see that there's a little bit more bearish momentum for XRP, of course, uh, after all of the drops uh, since basically last week. I mean, last week, Wednesday, uh, up in, uh, until Thursday and Friday, XRP was still very bullish. And since then, it, it's practically only been bearish, like it's bearish breakout after bearish breakout for XRP. And that's still the situation right now. Um, so then, because of the correlation between Bitcoin and uh, between Bitcoin and XRP, we obviously have to take a little bit of a look at, at Bitcoin and just in general, the market right now with a very strong dollar strength index uh, and not that much bullish fundamentals to go off of. It just seems most likely that XRP will continue this bearish momentum. Now, like I said, that does mean that while it's ranging right now, because XRP does like it, it's, it's ranges, as you can see also uh, historically, uh, whilst doing that, it could potentially spike up to this to, to the main resistance between 49 and a half and 49 cents, potentially up, even up to 50 cents, but I don't expect that. Um, but as long as XRP is below 49 and a half cents, it's bearish, all right? And the only way it could break above that is if all of a sudden Bitcoin gets a lot of bullish momentum, which is possible, but it's not the most likely scenario. So I think it's more likely that XRP will range then eventually break down below 48 and a half cents and drop down truly uh, to that level between 47 and 46 cents. So that's what we're waiting for. Um, and that's my take on XRP for now. I briefly want to tell you as well, if you're new to the channel, that I have my own premium slash signal group in which I share my own trades as signals. I'm a profitable trader. All of the results are transparent as well, so you can check it out. Uh, but there's also a chat room full of traders and my own trading guide. So if you actually want to make some profits while also becoming a better trader, consider joining. Links will be down in the description. But for now, have a great weekend. Thank you for watching and bye.